Hey Libra, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love, romance, partnership, all the above. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Libra, this is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you could be dealing with the Libra. And yeah, let's just jump right in. If you want a personalized tarot reading, I'm available. You can go to my website. You can also go to Etsy. I also have my tarot oracle decks there as well, okay? So Libra, let's jump right in. Messages for Libra's highest and greatest good. What could be coming in over the next month? Two cards for the challenge, Libra. Nine of Pentacles and a Knight of Pentacles. So this could be definitely an earth sign that you're dealing with. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, Libra, a lot of you guys are choosing to be single because someone is just taking their slow time, okay? You may be wanting something from someone I'm getting long term, like a relationship, commitment. But the Knight of Pentacles makes you feel like this is someone who is just very careful in how they approach these things. They may be putting this off, right? They could be very hesitant. Now, it does feel like, Libra, they do want something long-term, but maybe they're just not ready to make that offer. Someone is extremely slow to offer and cautious, okay? So it makes me feel like, Libra, a lot of you guys are choosing to be single on your own. The Knight of Pentacles could be like, you know, I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy. I'm content. I'm satisfied. Um, I make my own money, I pay my own bills, right, Libra? There's that energy. Some of you guys, you can also be very fixated on money right now. Maybe money, security, wealth is very important to you, your business. Money matters, financial matters are heavily on your mind. And there could be even, you know, for some of you guys, maybe some challenges with getting something that you may want because of the monetary uh, value of it. In a recent past, Libra, we have the full universe the five of pentacles, and the three of cups in a row. So in the past, it feels like a lot of you are waiting for this new beginning to come in, right? The full Aries energy. This could be someone that you are hoping that you can have this new beginning with. Expand, move forward, right? But there could have been some complication. Three of cups could definitely be like other people getting in the way, family, friends, right? And it feels like your person just put you aside. Five of pentacles, maybe you felt like this person wasn't being attentive to your needs. You may have felt like you always wanted more. Five of Pentacles could be feeling literally left out in a cold, abandoned, or feeling like you don't have this person's attention, time, energy, right? So there's an energy of, of something here wanting to move forward, wanting to take a risk, wanting to put yourself out there, but maybe it never happened. It feels like someone unexpectedly left you in that five of pentacles and that could have been something that happened and so as a result you you don't trust people you don't trust love okay so some of you guys you literally went through some kind of abandonment and it's because of someone leaving you for a third party and that could be it as well full universe is like we were supposed to do these things and all of a sudden they left me in this energy five of pentacles right with no love no resources and it feels like again the full universe could be trust issues that you may have because of it aries energy now, the current energy, we have the High Priestess in the verse, Piscean energy, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are definitely hurting. There's healing taking place, Three of Swords, healing of the heart chakra, maybe from some kind of separation, loss, abandonment. But there's something that's also being revealed. I don't know if this is coming out after or whatever is being revealed is causing some kind of hurt, okay? But it does feel like, again, there's some kind of recovery underway. This can be related to a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. This fire sign can also be the third party, right? A lot of times when I'm not doing a fire sign reading, the Queen of Wands is the other person, like a third party, okay? So there could be something revealed to you, something coming out, something that you're not aware of or you're not seeing, okay? And it can actually allow you to get some kind of understanding as to why something happened, especially if it caused a lot of hurt, heartbreak, trauma, okay? And it could be related to a third party. Now, what's happening in your person's energy? Two of Cups. Seven of Cups, the Emperor in reverse. Let's take one card, Seven of Wands. Okay, so in your person's energy, it does feel like they're very confused. They're trying to sort out all the confusion in their life. The Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups makes me feel like Libra. This is someone that really knows that 
what you and them have is very special. It's very sacred. It's felt, right? The two, two of cups makes you feel like they know that you're their person. But there is some other people, external influences, external forces that could be getting in the way, causing a lot of confusion. So if you ask this person how they feel, I don't really feel like they're going to be open about it. The Emperor in reverse, this is someone that's not quite ready to take action with regard to how they feel. The Emperor in reverse could also be someone that just is not doing enough for you, not protecting you. You may feel like they're just not being that leader that you need them to be. Now, with the Seven of Wands, there could be some changes happening, right? Because the Seven of Wands makes you feel like someone is wanting to stand up, stand their ground, make something very clear, um, maybe put up some kind of boundary that could be necessary. But the Seven of Wands is like fighting for something that you believe is right or something that you want, okay? Six of Wands in reverse, we have this new beautiful beginning with that Ace of Cups Libra. So, you know, for some of you guys, you may be accepting a failure of a situation. Maybe you're accepting that something didn't work out from the past. The Five of Cups, you could be healing of something that happened in the past or you felt like it should have happened, it didn't happen. There's some kind of regret, sorrow that you're letting go. And then this beautiful Ace of Cups is coming in. So some of you guys are literally having to let go of a disappointing, unhappy situation. Someone that brought a lot of emotional you know, disharmony to your life and you're you're moving away from that, right? And you're saying it's okay for me to be on my own. It's okay for me to be single. And literally it could be someone coming in slowly to your life, Libra. Knight of Pentacles that's bringing some kind of security, stability, and Ace of Cups. I mean, a lot of you guys, you could definitely be handed this new beautiful opportunity in love after you're accepting that something did not work from your past, okay? For others of you guys, this Ace of Cups could be a revival of a love, right? It doesn't have to be entirely new energy, but it could be definitely of something that didn't happen or didn't work. You know, um, this new beginning comes in. Now, the Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups, this could definitely be you, Libra, very confused about what you want. You know, especially if you're looking for like a very masculine energy, the Emperor in reverse, it's like, I want them to let me know how they feel. I want them to take action toward me. You know, I'm getting like, swoop me off my feet, seven of wands, fight for me, protect me, all, all those things. And, you know, you definitely could be getting what you want, but it could be coming in very slow, right? Knight of Pentacles. All right, let's jump right in. Let's get some more insight. Libra. Nine of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles. Crossing that is a Nine of Cups, right? <laughs> okay, so the Nine of Cups talks about your happiness, your wish fulfillment, your dreams, your desires, right? You, your person. The challenge is go toward what makes you happy. And some of you guys, you know, maybe waiting on someone isn't making you happy. And there could be literally like a switch. Like you guys realize, you know what? I'm complete. I'm happy all by myself. And when you realize that, you, you could be taking your power back and allowing love to finally come in, Ace of Cups. So, Nine of Cups, a lot of you guys are being challenged to like find your own happiness, be happy all by yourself, be complete and whole all by yourself. In the recent past, give me the energy of the Fool, the Five of Pentacles. Was someone like being foolish, thinking that you were going to wait on them forever? That's the energy I'm feeling. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Cups in the first. So yeah, I feel there's a very strong energy of someone just being very confused about what they want. They brought a lot of confusion to your life because the Seven of Cups is that they could have had a lot of other options, other people they were dealing with with the Three of Cups. They didn't know what they wanted. And you could have felt like Libra, you had to share this person, right? Six of Pentacles could be that you didn't get all of them. You may have gotten pieces of them. You could have felt like something wasn't being reciprocated. You may have felt like you didn't have um, their full undivided attention. And so the Queen of Cups in verse, you may have felt unloved. You may have felt uncared for. I think a lot of you guys, something was missing, especially if you didn't feel like emotionally supported. You could have felt like something just isn't right. Something isn't making me happy. And so with the full card, it makes me feel like a lot of you are waiting for that new opportunity to come through with this past person. Six of Cups. Yeah. So in the past, you were very much like fixated and focused on this past person coming back making things right, reconnecting, reconciling. Six of Cups could be this person that you were dreaming about, wishing for, right? Six of Cups is like we go way back and there's an element of comfort, nostalgia, right? And so a lot of you guys are cutting ties with that same individual, Three of Swords and a High Priestess. There literally could be something that is revealed to you that's allowing you to finally cut this person off for good. Three of Wands, you're waiting for your ships to come in. The Empress, you see your um, what you have to offer. You see your beauty. You know what you um, bring to the table. I think the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse is also indicating there's something that is not working out and you're recognizing it, right? And that's why the Three of Swords is cutting away separation, loss, grief. 
but it's also healing because it's coming out in the reverse position. So some of you guys are definitely letting go of someone and by letting go of someone, you're actually allowing yourself to finally heal. Okay. And I think the three of wands talks about waiting for your ship to come in elsewhere, waiting for something new, waiting for something better, knowing that you're deserving of something better because the Empress deserves that, right? So the Empress is a lot of beauty here. Um, you know, this is you wanting to be nurtured and cared for, um, recognizing what you have to offer. And there's also energy of like wanting to grow your family. Some of you guys, Libras, you're wanting to grow your family. You want to find someone that you can expand family home with, right? Let's take a look. Two of Cups and a Seven of Cups. The Tower, the Two of Cups in a verse and a Page of Cups. I wouldn't be surprised that someone literally has like a tower moment, right? Literally goes through some kind of really, really difficult, dark, um, trying times, right? The tower can be very destructive, very chaotic. Their whole life falls apart. They lose their job, lose their money, lose their savings. And it's like literally they recognize that, oh my gosh, what I really lost, what really hurts me is that I lost Libra, Two of Cups in a verse. Something that they may have had because it feels like the tower moment is, is really happening within their love and relationship. So this could be like them having a big epiphany or an awakening regarding love, right? Love, partnership, romance. And so it makes me feel like someone is recognizing all the confusion they brought to the connection, seven of cups. They never knew what they wanted. You asked them and they just were always indirect. There could be an apology here coming in. I wouldn't be surprised if your person, you know, gets all... Um, in this emotional place, there's a lot of cups here. And then they recognize that, you know what? I have to make it things right, right? It's page of cups. I want to apologize to Libra. I'm sorry what I did. I brought all this confusion. I feel like someone is going to want to man up, okay? It doesn't have to be a man. Seven of wands. Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, someone is definitely going to try to make things up to you. There's a sorry. There's, I'm, you know, I want to be there for you. I want to be forgiven. What I did was wrong. And let's face it, you know, whatever they did was wrong because the Emperor in a verse, they weren't there for you when you needed them the most. Now, there is some kind of turnaround because someone here with the Seven of Wands is wanting to now fight for, defend, protect. And um, there's the energy of the Knight of Cups. So someone is wanting to defend their love for you. And this could be after a heartbreaking situation. This could be definitely um, cutting ties, breaking up with a third party in order to protect the relationship they have with you and offer you that love. So it could be happening literally like right away. And at Three of Swords makes you feel like maybe there is also some kind of healing that has to take place between you and your person, Libra, in order for this Knight of Cups, for this love to come in. So if you've had a lot of history with this person, if it's an old person, there's definitely healing, purging, releasing before you guys can have, have this Knight of Cups energy. New beginning, a beautiful Ace of Cups. We finish off, and that's you, Libra, that's coming in for you. And we have the Magician. If you believe it, um, if you want it, if that's what you want to create, that's it's yours, right? And so I think the Magician coming out with the Ace of Cups is telling me that, Libra, there's something that you really want. You've been manifesting this for a really long time, and the Spirit is saying, you know what? Here it is. The universe is gifting you this big blessing of a new beginning in love. It's going to make you very happy. It's going to make you feel supported, loved. Um, and it does feel like it's requiring a lot of releasing of emotional burdens and baggage. Five of Cups, things that didn't work out, things that you felt were going to work out, should have worked out, didn't, right? Let it go. And that's what it feels like. Letting go of emotional baggage and burdens that you're carrying. Because that can get in the way of you having that victory. So this Ace of Cups is coming in, you're manifesting it, but you're having to release things that don't serve you. Libra, that is what I have please do like, share, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy these readings, do let me know. And if you want a personalized reading video recorded, you also can go to my Etsy shop or my website. Take care. Bye.